Paperwork looks good, uh, so, hey, yeah, I want to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, Jake's my nephew. Basically runs the family business, and I basically take credit for it. And basically right. takes a bigger check. Are you going to do the same thing to Alexis when she's old enough to work? Jake just had a baby girl, Alexis. Cutest thing you want to see. I see trees of green. Oh, hey. Look who it is. How's it going? What's going on, right? How you doing? Yeah, you know, living the dream. How long have you been on the list? Me? Yeah. Ooh, it's been a while. Maybe like four or five years? I mean, look, if you want to wager your spot on the donor's list, you know, <laughs> payment plan or something. You know. That ain't going to happen. I've been number one around here for a long time. You just have to wait your turn, Mr. Number Two. Number one. Congratulations. Just a few lifestyle things to keep in mind from now on. I'll be giving you a few pamphlets to help you remember what you need and all the pills you'll be receiving as you'll be on long-term multi-drug therapy, which includes the tacrolimus, the cyclosporin, the anti-proliferative agents, as well as the prednisone. Now please keep in mind that this is long-term, so you will be taking these drugs for the rest of your life. One of the unfortunate consequences of cellular memory theory is that people dismiss people's experience. So an organ donor recipient may be dismissed as simply a little crazy or having hallucinations or maybe their meds need to be adjusted. Have you been experiencing any side effects? Something like that.